Hey and welcome to our reaction to The Legend of Vox Machina Season 3, Episode 8. If you want to get the full length version of our reactions, you can get them in the Patreon by clicking the link below. <laughs> that was that was going real smooth. These, are, these have gone so good so far. <laughs> so to recap, uncut version of this and the Patreon, which is linked in the description. I'm very distressed, we just watched Episode 7. <laughs> Oh, flashback? Mm. Doors open. All right, which one of these prisoners is the mark? I told you, cult leader. Big payoff if we bust him out. <laughs> if you're looking for the raving mystic, you missed him by two days. Seems confinement didn't agree with his constitution. That's, That's a jab. <laughs> <laughs> What the fuck? If we break you out, how much would it be worth? A small fortune, I dare say. Ah, uh, the heartbreak one man can cause. I'm broke at the moment. It turns out when you hit rock bottom, the truth is your only bargaining chip. You might need that sort of honesty someday. Very well. Let's see where the truth takes us. Like his family, Percival Garolo was a man of deep devotion to his home and loyalty to its people. And That's really big Jesus tears in my eyes. In white stone with red white fiber. It's your boy. <laughs> His heart found meaning in our history. When we kneeled broken, Percy stood tall, reminding us that hope is a flame worth fostering. And though today we say goodbye, the Dawn Father will keep his eternal spark alive in all. <sighs> This feels fucking wrong. Oh no. What happened? Where's Percy? I fucking hell, Laura Bell is gonna kill me, isn't she? There's a reason I've been pressing you about this. I'm in love with you. You're the strongest person. I, know. I was worried how you'd react. How you'd react. I closed off my heart when I should have opened it. Gods, I am a bad luck charm. Percy never knew. Of course he did. You may have been an aloof, indignant asshole. <laughs> but Percy was sharp. Siblings, bro. <laughs> and every time you gazed at him, I knew. Laura. Oh. Laura. <laughs> I thought I might come to this. <sighs> I'm sorry for running away. The last. Hmm. Come inside. I'm, I'm starting to think fate is what you made it. <laughs> it's okay to be scared. But we can face anything. If we're together. <sighs> oh, thank God. Thank the Lord. <laughs> Stop it. It's not your fault, Scanlan. I could have stopped you from leaving. Also, it, like, what could you have done? Literally. It's not cleric. Yeah. What happens if that fails too? A song. Poem. Oh no, it's a song. Kaylee's song. Because he feels like that has made this happen, which it just hasn't. What the hell are the threads of fate doing? <laughs> a bitch. Literally never giving him a break. I'm rest, Jesus. Oh, you've got some fucking nerve. Our deal is off, remember? My thoughts exactly. Spawn have already hatched. Dozens will follow within days. I hadn't planned on burdening you with this. But it's time you knew the truth about the family and Thordak. Oh, the tales of destruction Thordak tells. Boasting of the cities he's burned. Port Calavon, Grematash, Byrodan. <laughs> Fate has been tethered to the Cinder King since you were a child. It's time you stop ignoring it. Thordak is your destiny. Thordak's nest will hatch soon. If they do, but in every single hole, <laughs> it would be every single hole. 
Unless you have some army hidden away, what would be different? Hmm. What if we did have an army? Oh boy. Rog, I told you <laughs> to see Percy's workshop paste. He's right. Maybe I could convince the Ashari to help. We could ask Zara and Cash and Vasselheim. <laughs> that guy's a beast. About a thousand Singorn soldiers. Yeah. Get the elves involved. <laughs> then what are we waiting for? Get the elves. <laughs> and how much will the take pay you for them? One hundred gold? Fifty? No. <laughs> Twenty-five. What if you upgrade it to something a bit scalier? All right, we know we owe you. But near death and certain death are quite different. <laughs> Sorry, B &C. Package deal. I seek something much harder to give. Oh, our armies. I've heard you're gathering forces, but I'm afraid that's quite impossible. Thorbeck can have him on for all I care. Our forces must remain here in defense of Singorn. I want you to admit the truth. The dragon killed mother, Elena. I spent years thinking her death was my fault. Oh well, yeah, but it's a control tactic. And you know tactic. why I believed that? Because you did too. No. Yeah. You blamed us for her death. Nonsense! I never said any such thing. You turned your back on your children. In our moment of need, you shut us out. Her death hurt you as much as it hurt us. That's your truth. That was long ago. I learned the lesson so well, I kept the one decent man who shared his heart at arm's length until it was too late. And now I would give anything to hold him, to tell him how I feel. I'm sorry. This is Man, a very man. Chip, father. A truth. If you've any love left for me, or for mother, then march to Iman and prove it. Cash and Zara decline our invitation. Will this be enough? I'm here. No matter what happens, we'll face it together. What are you doing? That's cute as fuck. Oh, sometimes singing calms my nerves. This is Kaylee's song. Uh, did you show her? No. And I won't. I tried being a father and a part of this team, and I failed at both things. Maybe there's a solution. Room. Yeah, there is. No more distractions. She did it. I love how like, Vax didn't go because he knew he would just be like, fuck you! Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Dad. Like jumping on him and attacking him and yeah. then being like, oh, he didn't give me the army. <laughs> <laughs> Damn. <laughs> oh, maybe I shouldn't have gone. We'll wage a two pronged assault. Your single army, Rose Warriors, as well as the Whitestone Pale Guard. We'll march through the city gates, engaging Thordax spawn head on. And while the ground forces engage Thordax offspring, Vox Machina will use the destruction to reach his lair. How will you get inside? I've scouted it. We'll approach from the air. That won't work. His children guard it now. It's a sound plan, Lady Vexal. <laughs> will it work? <laughs> At least he's Lady Vexal later. Mm. Put respect on that name. As he fucking should. I'm fucking scared. Oh. For Percy. For mother. It feels wrong that Percy's not here. Yeah. He would be so proud. I know. Secret tunnel. Mm hmm. We just know it's gonna be a reveal. Mm hmm Yeah. Little baby. Lot mm. of babies. <laughs> Do you feel that? You just know what's happening. <laughs> yeah. Damn, I'm stronger than I thought. I don't think <laughs> Yeah. I'm so concerned. What? <laughs> oh, fuck. And they're all clustered together for him. What have I done? 
Oh, oh my god. <laughs> I was like, this is going on too long. It's about to cut. Wow, that was a lot. <sighs> they shoved so much into that episode. Uh, <laughs> the confusion lasts. Yeah. What the fuck is happening? <laughs> Did you enjoy it at least? Yes, yeah. but like. Vax and Kayla are finally like. Finally. Well, okay. Only took someone to die. Yeah, I mean, even then, though, the Raven Queen was still like. <laughs> yeah, but he at least wasn't like, oh, well, fuck this relationship. Yeah. He was just like, I'm gonna I'm take a lap. Yeah. And I'll be back. <laughs> I'm, gonna, I'm gonna take a lap. <laughs> These visions of them taking a lap. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. It's like when you have a bad nightmare that Walk you just off. have to, like, get up and just go into the kitchen, you know? Specifically? Yeah. You mm. just gotta walk somewhere that's cold, usually a <laughs> it, kitchen. <laughs> such a specific thing for you. <laughs> Man. They all killed it that episode, too. Like, in oh. e every area. Yeah. Everyone put their pussy into it. <laughs> they did. They did. I do feel really bad for her Vex, but also for Scanlan as well. Cause he, yeah. Because uh, he's seeing it as his fault. Because like, if he was there, maybe it would have made a difference. We know, contextually, from what happened, it wouldn't have made a difference. But he doesn't know that, no matter how they try and explain it. Like, yeah, yeah, yeah. Man's and you'll never ridden. be able to convince him. Yep. They're all a mess. <laughs> In conclusion, mm -hmm. I'm so excited for the second part of this, though. This next one. Yeah, on yeah, to? yeah, yeah. The last one of the night. These night. These three episode nine. Mm. I'm very excited because it's gonna be, presumably, presumably given the timeline, potentially the conclusion of this bit. The Chroma Conclave. Potentially. Ooh, potentially. Okay. Which gives me the fear a little bit, because then there's like three episodes after that, I'm pretty sure. I'll need to double check. <laughs> well, yeah, but if it if the next episode is the end of it, then the next three will be setting up for... Yeah, but why do they need three? <laughs> why do they need three? Why not? Anyway, shall we jump? Because I want to see it. I want to see it. <laughs> 